No, that's the wrong edge. We have to keep going straight. A father and son are brushing up on history. Okay, so this is the right section. By brushing off the past. It's right there. Armed with brushes, scrapers, and a special cleaning solution. Oh, yeah. Zach Leonard and his 10-year-old son Lincoln have taken on an unusual summer project at Calvary Cemetery. They're restoring long-neglected headstones to their former glory. Oh, yeah. I think it's important to preserve history. Does it mean if you don't, it's going to get lost, and to know your past is very important. What started as a curiosity became a calling. The Leonards came to Calvary Cemetery looking for roots. We're going to have to really scrub around here. But found themselves planting seeds of remembrance. We found out that I had a great-grandfather, his great-great-grandfather, who was a veteran of World War I and World War II. That great-grandfather was James Leonard, buried somewhere in these sprawling grounds. But finding him was just the beginning. We could really only make out the AMES of the James. You couldn't really see Leonard. And we were like, we should clean this. This is heavy. (laughs) It is heavy. And so, armed with determination and a bit of elbow grease, father and son set out to unveil other stories etched in stone. It's coming right off, isn't it? It's really an incredible feeling because you've come there to honor someone and it's almost like they're coming to life a little bit. Calvary Cemetery has been around since 1854 and spans 470 acres with over 300,000 graves. It's the final resting place for many notable figures, including General William Tecumseh Sherman and Dred Scott. We will definitely have to spray more spray. But the Leonards aren't just focused on the famous. They're on a mission to honor those who served one headstone at a time. Yeah, that came out really well. We could barely see that at the beginning. For this father and son, it's more than just cleaning headstones. It's about connecting with history and each other. I hope that he learned that acts of kindness don't require an organization or don't require donations. Even if it's something small, everything makes a difference in some way, and it can affect a lot of people. That's a a good day. That was three today. In a place where time stands still, two generations are ensuring that those who came before us will always shine bright. It's easy to do, really, if you're just willing to take the time 